All right, y'all, I did find the uh, ND filter. Not quite sure I need it. I am new to this whole Canon M50 thing, but I could not resist uh, coming down here and giving this a little shot again today. Uh, I'm just gonna cast around my little bait. And uh, I have caught a lot of bluegills out of this spot. So maybe we'll catch a couple more. We'll see what happens. Getting a little cast out there. See what's going on. Only going to go about maybe 20 minutes on this and we'll give it a stop for tonight. It is pretty much my dinner time. But I had to come down here and unplug the Solar Jenny anyways. So, why not do this at the same time, right? See a little bitty bass right there swimming by. Oh, he hit it too. Dag on. <laughs> yeah, way it goes. I will give this 10, 15, 20 minutes. Then uh, I'm going to head back to camp, get me some dinner. Ready for some beers later tonight. Oh, I had one. Dang on. Go figure, right? Ooh, I'm getting some good bites. I really am. Maybe I'll actually put one in the basket before I have to go back to camp. We shall see. Ain't that right? See, I got that ND filter on there this time, and I may it may be too dark now, whereas the other fishing video might be what looks like to me it was washed out. Whoa, hey, got something here, people. I will take it. Oh, look at there, look at there. Now this is what I'm talking about. I'm talking a little bit of business going on now. Woohoo, people. Look at there, first bluegill of uh, season two, Deep Woods, Alzheimer's Adventure for a Cure. Ooh, I hope people can see him. I'm gonna try to get him a little bit closer, but he may blur all out, I'm not really sure. All right, check him out. Dang on, I'll take him. That's a good part of the fish sandwich right there. Bear with me a minute while I try to get this uh, mess of a basket in order. I did not believe there was any chance to be catching a fish right now. You know, how does stuff get in a mess like this? You know, how does it happen? I do not know. That's all right, we'll fix it. Mr. Fish will just have to survive for a minute while I work on this. This is a decent basket. Fish are not just going to up and swim out of this one like happened to me last year. And I'm hoping that uh, get some more gills. See how that goes. This is looking pretty dark. This video is. All right, we got this basket straightened out. Well, that toss did not go well at all. 
There we go. That is more like it, if I do say so myself. Just going to lay that right there for right now. Shoo, God, already got the hands going stinking on me. Trying to see how dark this is. Uh, don't know. Well, that was pretty exciting there. We're going to give it another cast and uh, see what happens. The spot that I'm in, I don't know if I've said before or not, but it is one of my fave spots in the world. That is spots that I've been to for catching good panfish. Now that that sun has gone down, bear with me for a minute here. Does that look any brighter? I'm going to try taking this off for a second. This ND filter. Let's see what happens. Looks a little washed out, don't it? If I put that on there, then it's too dark. Ooh, don't drop my filter. Let's see here. That's not too bad right there, is it? Although it does look a little washed out. I can't tell. Like I say, I am a novice at this. Oh, I'm going to put up my ND filter because I don't want nothing happening to it. Because if you're going to do anything in bright sun or anything like that, you've got to have this filter. Or it'll look like so washed out, you'll people will think you're Casper to ghost and stuff, you know. Anyhow, let's give this some more some more tries here. Oh, I got a tap, I felt it. excited now I know that the panfish are still here it's been about six years since I've been back to this spot makes me wonder what kind of damage a guy could do with some live night crawlers might just tear them up ooh I got another little tap right there It was getting towards evening time and I just could not resist coming down here and give it another shot. I was saying in the earlier video, uh, the one I think is pretty washed out. I hope I never catch in, you know, hook into anything uh, too big on this little ultralight pole, especially me having no net down here. I'll work on that net maybe tomorrow. Get out some fishing line and try to close that hole on that net. Felt a little something there. I think that might have been a rock or something. Let's see how many minutes we got on this video. Yeah, we got about 10. That ain't too bad. 
Ooh, had a pick up there. Now I might be having a late dinner because I might not want to leave. Ooh, got a little tap. Oh, got one. Little something. He ain't a big guy or nothing, but hey, a bluegill is a bluegill. Oh, he's edible. I eat him. Guaranteed. Like I said, he's not no ginormous fish or nothing, but uh, that is all right. There we go, number two. Fixing to go in the basket. There he is. Bear with me a second here. Yep, getting my hands stinking. I did not bring my hand soap down here with me. I did not truly expect to catch some fish, so I'm gonna rinse them off a little bit better. I'll be right back. Let's see here. Well, be sure I don't touch my clothes no more. Not till I get my hands washed. Got another cast out there. Shoot, one more bluegill. Old Rob have him a fish sandwich. Had a tap. I felt him. Yeehaw, people. Yeehaw. Ooh, another tap. I felt that. Hands are rank already. Two fish. But if I was messing around with worms, shoot, we, they'd be way more stinky. Way more.
little bit faster wind this time. Shoot, I don't even want to touch my hat now. But on a good note, tomorrow will be shower day. Pretty sure that was a pickup I just saw. Yeah, there was a nibble for sure. This must not be big enough to attack it. Ooh, there was a big splash out there. Big one. Yep, uh, last year, and now of course this year, is the only years I've really done halfway decent using artificial baits. I will take it. Hey, I think we got us another one on here. I don't know what kind of size he is, but I think he's, he, he's edible. I got bluegill sandwich tomorrow night. If he is indeed a bluegill. And oh, he is. He is. Oh! Oh, you believe that? He come off at the last second. He was actually up here on the bank, flopped off my hook. Gandhi, back in the water. It's all right. It's all right. I will hunt some more bluegills. Dang on. That would have been fish sandwich tomorrow night. With some mayonnaise on there and some melted cheese. Ooh, would have been so good. I don't know how much fishing I'll get to do tomorrow because I gotta filter water. And I gotta uh gotta get me a shower too, but that won't be till evening. I'll have enough time to do some fishing. Now I'm gonna think day after that. I'm gonna have to hop in the canoe, maybe. Head out across this lake, go get some ice. And again, maybe not. We'll see. That new ice chest, it is really holding the ice. Give a little cast over that way, what do you think? I'm surprised I'm not seeing more squirrels hopping around through them trees over there. Well, you know, even if I didn't get any more bluegills, that one bluegill, he's pretty, he's pretty nice size. And then with that other little one, that'd be four fillets. That'd be, that'd be about enough for a fish sandwich. And then get in the dehydrated food bag there. 
and uh, maybe get out some hominy or something. A fish sandwich and some hominy. Ooh, be tasty. Them squirrels, they may not be down here along the bank hopping around the trees. But you go up there in the woods, like up by camp and all that, and all up through the top of the mountain, yeah, they're hopping around up there. Flat eat up with squirrels. Oh, just heard an owl. Way off somewhere. At least I'm pretty sure it was an owl. He was a long ways away. We'll let that one sink a second. Now I'll bring him in. Get it down to a little bit different depth there. It still is or not, but this cove used to be loaded with millful. Had a bunch of it in here, but I am not seeing any millful at this time. What are we up to here? Hey, gone 22 minutes, people. 22 minutes on this video. I'm going to give it a couple more casts. And uh, we will see what happens. And then after that, I'm going to have to head towards camp. Got to get me and all my fishing stuff and that solar jenny back up there. Yep, 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 yep. Let's do a real fast wind here. No takers. We'll throw down there. Down that ways a little bit there and further in the cove. See maybe if I get a taker back in there. Ooh, got a hit for sure. You just got to be big enough to attack it properly. Oh, yeah, I see a bunch of little ones following it for sure. Quite a number of them. All right, three more casts. As much as I hate to, I'm going to have to stop this. Go find a rock or something to wrap or a log to wrap around this uh, rope or this basket. Besides, I still have to get over on the other side of the woods. I really need to put a couple of clothes pins on my clothes. Be sure the wind don't blow them off overnight down in the dirt. battery power we got left people 
I cannot tell. Bear with me a second here. It looks like the battery's full. And let's see, where's SD card at? I do not see it on there to tell me how much room is left at this time. So, heck with it. I'm going to cast around a little bit more. I, I can't help. It. I'm going to Especially starting to get dark. Sun's going down. Got the M50 rolling. Two gills in the basket. Chili dinner coming up. Ooh, it'll be good. And later tonight, of course, Little King's time. That's right. After day three here in the woods, don't get me wrong, I am still tired. But I am feeling much better than I did on day one or day two. Actually having some physical activity is good for a person. Like I didn't know that, right? So what we'll do, I think I'm going to run this to 30 minutes. Legit, 30 minutes, and then stop it. As long as I can catch it right at 30. And we are up at 27. That's a pretty long little segment right there. That one escape artist bluegill, if he wouldn't have got away, I'm telling you. I might have to try to put one more in the basket so I can have a fat sandwich. Had a hit. From what I can see, this little uh, 22 millimeter prime lens, it really does good in low light, like right now. At least as far as I can tell, looks like, you know, everything's pretty clear. I saw one. I watched him come up, actually hit the lure. Maybe I was reeling too fast or too slow, or I'm not sure exactly what the deal is with that, but uh, yeah, he was a pretty nice one too. Apparently the maximum recording time on this thing is 30 minutes and then it will shut off automatically on you. I do not care for that. I think I'm going to wrap it up here in just a minute anyways. I apparently reached my 30 minute maximum, so that's that's a pretty good little clip there. I'm 
We'll have to remember that for future reference, 30 minutes. Three more casts for real this time, and we're going to let it go. Come back down tomorrow, try to add to those uh, couple of bluegills maybe. Ooh, there's another big splash over there. Ten to one says that was a giant carp of some kind. There's one, number two. Last cast of the day. I'll try winding a little bit slower. See if something wants to nail it. right there it's kind of twisted up around there a little bit easy fix but still yet on that note since it was all twisted up like that didn't know anything about it I'm gonna give it one more cast have to now Heard a big old hickory nut fall out of the tree up there. Heard some of those last night bouncing off the rain fly. Good thing it was there. I might have got conked right in the head. All right, everyone. As much as I hate to do it, I'm going to call this a wrap for the day. Hands are not too bad, thank goodness. I'm going to uh, shut this down. I'm gonna grab a solar jenny, head back up through the woods towards camp. And I will come back after a while, for dinner time, we'll cook up some of that nice tasty chili. And that pretty much do it. Wherever you are, or whatever you may be doing, as always, I hope you're having a good time of it. And uh, that'll do it. Bye for now.